Thank you War Robots for sponsoring this video. Before we can actually test salt based hot fat searing, the first thing we need is fat. And I'm talking about good old beef fat. These are trimmings from ribeye. So we all know that it is as good as it gets. And the only reason I was able to get this amount of good fat is because of my meat dealer. However, I also wanted to test something else. What about lamb fat? That is exactly what this is. As you can see, I also have a very good amount. Again, that's why it pays off to have a good meat dealer. And if you don't have one, man, you're missing out. Now, as you can tell already, these are very large pieces. And I have to trim them down to manageable sizes so that we can actually sear the steaks with it. So I first started with the lamb ones. My goal was to make three inches block. Hopefully this is gonna work great and I'm looking forward to find out how it's actually gonna taste. And of course, I did the same exact thing for the beef fat. I just cut them all in manageable sizes. Now, one of the important things that I thought that I needed to find out was the smoke point of fat. Because once you pass that smoke point, everything starts to get a little bitter. And my goal was to render this fat a little bit and get it nice and hot without actually passing the smoke point. So if you go to Google and search up the smoke point for beef, it will tell you that it is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Height. So that tells me do not pass that temperature because if I do it's gonna start getting a little bitter. I did the same thing for lamb and I found out that usually smoke point of animal fat is at around 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So that gave me a great place to start. So I went ahead and set my oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Hopefully that will get my fat nice and hot and most importantly it will not get bitter. I throw both in there, the lamb and the beef. After a total of 15 minutes it was starting to get brown so I went ahead and flipped it to the other side. The last thing I want is for it to burn. And as you may already know, fat burns real quick. But one of the interesting things that I found is that the beef fat gets darker really quick. The lamb, on the other hand, takes some time. So from that research I just did right now, it's actually accurate. So apparently that 25 degrees difference is actually a big deal. As you can see, my beef fat is getting brown nicely and quick. The lamb one, on the other hand, not so much. Check it out. I kept flipping it to make sure that I did not get any burn bits. The last thing I wanted to do is to ruin my steak. And that's because I'm gonna be using this. And as you can see from the label, it is Wagyu. To be a little bit more specific, it is an Australian Wagyu tenderloin. And I mean, if we're gonna be doing this experiment, let's try it out with one of the most incredible meats. Even though Salt Bay does not offer this in his restaurant, I mean, we're gonna go all out. And here's one of the most important things I want you to keep in mind whenever you're opening a piece of Wagyu like this. Never wash any meat on your sink. Always just use a paper towel and get it nice and clean, just like this. As you can see, once I was done, this is what it looks like. Now we can really appreciate the beauty of this beef. But most importantly, you can see that we still have quite a bit of silver skin. It does not matter what you do, that does not go away unless you take it out. So that is exactly what I did by grabbing a nice sharp knife and go to town. Always remove any silver skin from any meat. That thing is like shoe leather and it is not enjoyable. Then I went ahead and separated the head from the roast. And as you can see, it does have wonderful marbling. Oh boy. On the opposite side of the tenderloin, there's also a little bit of additional fat. Because this is a prestige cut and it has plenty of intramuscular fat, there's no need for the outer one. Then I started separating in smaller pieces. And as I did, whoa! Take a look at this marbling. That, my friends, is exactly what I was looking for. I mean, come on, take a look at this. If that's not impressive, I don't know what is. Man, I cannot wait to find out how the fat is gonna do to this thing. But talking about our fat, by this time, it should be 100% ready. And as you can see, I got this thing nice and hot. To be specifically, it is at 375 degrees Fahrenheit and it has been there for a total of an hour and a half. Even though a lot of the fat has rendered already, but most of it has not. So I went ahead, took it out and put it immediately on the piece of meat and this is what happened. Even though it was nice and sizzling, but check it out, it is still completely raw. Well, that didn't work. But now let's try it with the lamb fat. I did the same exact thing and then once I took it out, oh boy, that did not work. So with this initial experiment, it told me one thing. I gotta go way beyond the smoke point. So that means I'm gonna be getting the heat as hot as possible and who care about the smoke point? And one of the great things about this first experiment is that I can actually remove all of the fat that was cooked. And in the end, I was left with beautiful beef tallow. So I can just heat it up when it's ready, deep fry the fat and it will get nice and hot. And hopefully that will give us the sear that we're looking for. But talking about that, the next thing to do is to go ahead and season all of these steaks. And for that, I'm only using salt and nothing else. 
I really want to see if the hot fat will change the flavor. And if it does, then I will understand exactly why Salt Bay does this. As you can see, once I was done, every single edge of these steaks are perfectly seasoned. That is exactly what I was looking for. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love to dry brine. That's basically a fancy word to say put salt on it and let it rest on your refrigerator overnight. That will allow the salt to penetrate nicely and deeply into the meat. Once the time was up, I took it out and it was ready to be cooked. Here's the plan. The first thing I'm going to be doing is putting a nice, wonderful sear on all of them. Then I'll be heating up my fat to as much as I can so that I can sear these steaks with it. I know that sounds funny, but that is exactly what we're going to be doing. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time for us to put this method to the test. So let's do it. Before trying this incredible food, I want to go ahead and fry up some robots and thanks to the sponsor, War Robots. Have you ever wanted to pilot a giant robot? The problem with those type of games is that you usually have to spend a lot of time on them. Here's a great solution. War Robots lets you quickly jump into a match, destroy huge robots, and then get on with your day. It's a tactical shooter where you and up to five team players fight against another team of six people. You are not just a soulless machine. You are the pilot who chooses which machine and what tactics to use. Your choices are going to change the title of the battle. The goal is to destroy all enemy robots or get control over all the beacons on the field. Pick over 60 unique bots to fill your hangar, each with its own abilities. Customize your robots with more than 60 types of weapons including machine guns, flamethrowers, and many others. Choose unique skins and create your own war machine. You can choose a multiplayer mode if you want to be part of the team, or try it yourself in solo mode if you prefer to play alone. Make sure you use the link in the description down below because you're gonna get a starter package. And that includes a robot with a weapon plus unique skin, 100 gold, and 50,000 silver. And if you download it before January 31st, you're gonna get an awesome hard flamethrower. My favorite thing about this game is that it's not all about who has the fastest trigger or the most powerful weapon. What's going to win your battles are your tactics. If you wanna join me for some awesome robots and flamethrower fights, make sure you use the link in the description down below or the QR code on the screen. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful Wagyu filet mignon, mama. Nice. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. But as always, I gotta experiment, yes? If not, it's not good, guy, huh? Of course, if not, it's not good. <laughs> well, have you ever seen Salt Bay and whenever they put that hot fat and they sear the steak right in the middle? Yeah. That looks weird, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what this is. That's why there's some, some of them look like a sandwich here. We're going to find out if that's good or if that's just a show for Instagram and stuff like that. And we're going to let everybody know. Sounds like a plan? It's just a show. <laughs> Get it by my mouth. Mama already knows. <laughs> I have a very high expectation for it to be a show as well. But what if okay. it's amazing? What if it's fantastic? I'll say one thing. If it's fantastic, why isn't everybody else doing it, right? If it's fantastic, I'll bow down to Salt Bay. Oh, okay. Big deal. So before anything, so that we have a benchmark, let's try the Google version. Yeah, okay. Just a nice, beautiful sear. Oh my god! <laughs> I stabbed with the fork, and you just like, where was it? There's, there's yes. no resistance. <laughs> so this one here was just basically I put a nice, beautiful sear, and then cook it in indirect heat with charcoal oh until it reached an internal temperature of 135. Once that was done, took it out. Now it's gonna go straight to our belly. Are you ready, Mama? 
Did you show them this? Like, this is beautiful. They saw it, Mama. They saw oh it. Oh my God. They saw it. <laughs> I'm in love with you. <laughs> Stop admiring it. Let's eat, Mama. I'm hungry. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. If salt base is better than this, I will bow down. There's no way. No way. <laughs> There's no way. That is amazing. Wow. Ooh, I'm actually drooling. Mm. You know, a little. You put it in your mouth and it just melts. <laughs> and the char on the outside with the little hints of the salt. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, here, you take the top part. I'll take the bottom part. Let's see. If that, that's the fat. Don't that's eat the fat? Yeah, don't eat that. To my surprise, it's actually cooked. I'll give you that. You know, normally when he cuts that steak, it's raw. Mine was yeah, raw as right. well. But look at it. Yeah, it's, it's cool. medium rare. It's I'm medium surprised. Rare. I, I I didn't expect that because when I was when I was doing it, look at that. It's medium rare. I thought it was gonna still be raw. It is not. No. I'm surprised the, by that. The ones that I saw him doing, they're like really red. This is perfectly medium rare. Yeah, salt based hot fat experiment. Cheers, everybody. Something a little different there. Very different. But I'll tell you one thing. This beef is so phenomenal. I don't think you can mess it up. <laughs> no, the beef is amazing, but that flavor is not a like a not a pleasant flavor. It's not like a that's not is that beef fat? Yeah, that's beef fat. It's clashing with it. It doesn't go together. It has an aftertaste. Pay attention to the aftertaste. It does. Right? Right away, yeah. I think what happens is because you got to take it now, when I was doing the experiment, you got to take this fat to a really hot temperature. Okay. So the smoke point and the bitterness, you feel bitterness? A little bit. Yeah. It's, I feel the bitterness. Uh, oh man, I do not enjoy that. I am so <laughs> right now because it messed up my filet mignon. I mean, you can tell that the steak is good. Yeah. But the uh, experiment is not. No good. No good. No good. Do not try that with this mm. kind of fat. That was beef fat. I also had some lamb fat. I did it with lamb fat. Okay, let's try this one. Right. You ready? I'm not looking forward to this one. He charges a lot of money in the restaurant. That thing bag tastes real good. You pay extra just for a show that doesn't improve the meat? Well, well let's find out. Well, based on the first experiment. Based on the first one. Disclaimer. Same. Yeah, based I know. on the first experiment. <laughs> this one here is with uh, lamb fat. Okay. Smells different already. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. Wow. It's not terrible. Not terrible. It's way better than the actual beef fat. Yeah. Wow. Maybe he's using lamb fat and not beef fat. I can't believe it. It's good. <laughs> Maybe because the lamb fat is not as strong flavor as the beef. It could be. It ter another thing. Okay. I have a theory. The beef fat gets burned. Mm -hmm. All right. I put it in the gas stove in there and just blast it on high okay. and it gets burned. So you see that little bit of bitterness. You also see a little bit of char as it's doing it. Okay. The lamb fat, I also blasted as high as possible and it never turned like black. So you understand? It, it's kind of like the oil with the small point being higher than the other one. I, I think so. I one think of them is higher than the other even one. Even though they say that all animal fat has the same type of, uh, you know, a smoke point. I don't yeah. think it is true because the lamb is phenomenal. Now you're going to ask me, does it have any flavor of lamb on the beef? No, no, no. no. it's just, it's just cooked uh, properly. What happened, Mama? I got some of the... <laughs> some of the beef? Some of the beef. <laughs> the beef is too hot. It has bitterness. It mm. tastes burned. But the lamb was cooked to perfection. Now, here's the deal. Let me be very clear. This one here, even though the lamb works, it is not better than the regular no, one. <laughs> the first one still wins. <laughs> it is not better than the regular one, everybody. Forget about that, all right? Don't do any of them now this one here i did something crazy i just went wire and i said you know what let's just go ahead and deep fry the whole thing on the tallow <laughs> i'm wondering if this one is good deep fry why you turn the loin everybody let's see if it's better than the real deal huh hey. cheers everybody oh that's good <laughs> is it better than this one here no <laughs> Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to test anything else that has to do with steaks, we, we will be very happy to Glad do the experiment to for you. Glad to help you guys. <laughs>
If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.